Forward. Oh. Araby and her Quezon team take soldiers to their final resting place at Arlington National Cemetery. Yeah, bring her to me. But every Thursday, Good. Araby gives injured soldiers like Specialist Natasha McKinnon a serious workout. Now, I normally ride many. Araby, she's, she's pretty cool. What well, she wants to be. <laughs> no, she's all right. Whoa. Horseback riding as a form of physical therapy forces a soldier's body and brain to work in sync to improve their motion and stability when they've lost a limb. Walk on there. The horse's movement uh, through the hips is the same three-dimensional movement that humans have when they walk normally. And so by virtue of these individuals sitting on top of the horse, then their bodies are getting or worked as if they are walking normally. Natasha lost part of her left leg back in 2005 when her Humvee hit an improvised explosive device in Iraq. I didn't know what my left side was doing. <laughs> I'm like, where's my leg? It's flopping over there somewhere. <laughs> She's been part of the therapeutic riding program for more than a year now. It caused my muscles to be stronger because being on top of a horse is especially it's like the lower extension of your body. and. I found that helped me very well with stability and uh, getting a strong kick on the left side, especially when you're walking your gait and your stride. Right. For Natasha, who wants to become a veterinarian when she gets out of the Army, yeah. riding Araby combines her passion for animals and her drive to master the art of walking again. Jeannie Ryan, Fort Myer, Virginia. <laughs>